everyone, welcome back or welcome to my channel. I'm Molly, a lifestyle blogger based in New England that loves sharing all about New England living, crafts, homes, interiors, all that fun stuff. But today I have a DIY for you. So for the last few years, I've seen these cute little oyster shell jewelry dishes pop up all over the internet. Maybe you've seen them too, but I thought I'd try my hand at making one and figured I'd show you how to. Hi, hello, this is Molly from the future. I filmed the oyster shell ring dish portion of this DIY over the summer, but with Christmas right around the corner, I want to repurpose some of these and turn them into ornaments. So stay tuned into the end for those additional steps. What you'll need. All of these items will be linked below, but you'll need some oyster shells, of course, paper napkins, I went for these adorable ones with ginger jars all over them, gloss Mod Podge and a sponge brush, gold leaf paint, and scissors. Depending where you get the shells, you may end up with a lot, but these make for great gifts. Now for the steps. So I tend to decorate a few shells at once because of this first step, that being painting the inside of the shell white. You'll likely need to do a couple of layers, making this the most time-consuming part of the project, but it's so worth it because it really gives that added pop to the design and really makes it stand out beautifully. With the paint all dry, I'm taking one of my paper napkins and cutting out the portion of the design that I'm using. So in this case, I'm cutting out each individual ginger jar. What's great about this pattern is that there are so many ginger jars to pick from and you can cut out a ton of them and just make a bunch of ring dishes or ornaments. Once one of the jars or whatever design you're using is cut out, you'll want to trim away any excess paper. This will make the design look more flawless and seamless on the shell. Usually these paper napkins have a few layers, so you'll want to peel off the top layer that has the actual design on it. And again, this step just helps to make the design look a bit more seamless and as if it's painted on. Now for Mod Podging it all together. First I'm just placing the design on the shell just to get an idea of where I want it to go. And then I'm applying a thin layer of that gloss Mod Podge and just lightly placing on the ginger jar and kind of tapping it into place. From there, I'm applying a more generous layer of Mod Podge and just kind of stippling that onto the design and then lightly brushing it on the rest of the shell to give that nice glossy finish. I love seeing this project come together with a bit of decoupage. They're just so pretty and each one is unique and perfect for those coastal loving people in your life. And they make great gifts for rides to be just anyone, any preppy gal or whoever. Now, if you're using a larger scale design, you'll still want to glue it down the same way, even if it's spanning the whole shell and still apply that generous layer of Mod Podge over it. But once it's kind of dried a little bit, you'll want to tear away the edges and just glue down those kind of unfinished edges. With that step done, I'm now taking the gold leaf paint and just lightly brushing that onto the top of the shell as well as along the edges. Oh, how I love gold leaf paint. It just adds a nice shimmery touch to projects. I don't know if the camera captures how how like shiny and nice this is but just looks so luxurious and is just the best touch for this sort of project. There's no messing up with the step just try your best to be a bit neat and tidy and then if you want you can add some extra gold touches along the different ridges on the back of the shell. And with that paint dry we have this beautiful oyster shell ring dish. So for this next little part of the video, I'm just making another one of these dishes, but feel free to skip to the end where I show you how to turn this into an ornament. So before you skip ahead, though I hope you watch the whole thing, now would be a great time actually to ask that you subscribe if you haven't already, and to give this video a thumbs up if you like it. It helps YouTube to know that this video provided some value to you, and I definitely hope it does. I'm just a small New England based creator that would so love to be able to do this full time and just constantly share ideas and inspiration with you all. So any sort of support is just massively helpful and so, so greatly appreciated. But yeah, continue on with the video and I hope you enjoy. Okay, so now for the ornaments, I'm just taking one of my completed ring dishes, a little kind of tie thing for ornaments, and a drill, and just drilling a hole into the shell using one of my smallest drill bits. So now I have a tiny hole at the top of the shell, and I'm just taking that string and just fishing that through and closing it. And there you go, an ornament. Thank you so 
much for watching. I hope you enjoyed seeing this DIY video. And if you'd like to see more like this, definitely let me know. If you haven't already, please subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And give this video a thumbs up that tells YouTube that I have some value to give. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.